Hello everyone, it's the Korean channel. We're taking a look at the Best Buy exclusive steelbook of Punisher Warzone. Now I know I'm a little late to do a review on the steelbook, but I wanted to go into Best Buy to buy a copy of Fury because I never got it on DVD. But then I walked out with six DVDs. And this Best Buy exclusive steelbook is one of them. So yeah, I have a lot of content for y'all to see. But before we get into this review, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really helps motivate me create more content for you guys. So yeah, this is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook of Punisher Warzone. I'm glad I finally got this in my hands because this came out in October, I think. I think this came out in October. I really wanted to get it um, for two reasons. One, yes, obviously because it's a steelbook. But I also have Punisher Warzone on regular DVD. Uh, but the steelbook it has 4k and blu-ray in it. So now I have uh, three copies of uh, Punisher Warzone. So that's one of the or two one of the two reasons why I wanted to get it Yeah, so Best Buy exclusive steelbook packaging Punisher Warzone blah 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 It, it looks really good Here's the spine Now I know not a lot of people like this movie because it's like very corny and cheesy and hyper violent. Uh, if you want to pause the video just to read, feel free to do so. But yeah, there. I know not a lot of people like this movie, but I I kind of enjoyed it for what it was. And Marvel Knights. Obviously, that did not last long. Marvel Knights only made like two films, and then they gave up after like two fails. Stay up there. Stay up there. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. So here's a steelbook without the plastic wrap on. And again, like my Multiverse Madness video, ignore fingerprints that you might see. Like that one right there. But yeah, it still looks good. Alright, so now let's see how this looks with the slipcover off. Whoa, that looks cool. Look at that. That looks cool. Okay, so it's a glossy steelbook. And here is the spine. The spine looks good too. And here is the artwork on the back. Man, that looks really good. Okay, so obviously that is Jigsaw on the back there. I have no clue what that's supposed to be. Even though that's supposed to be like the quote unquote Punisher mask, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. So here's Punisher fighting against Jigsaw or Billy Rosati down there. Well, in the movie, his pronounced as Rosati. In the Netflix series, he's pronounced as Russo. Now, I've never read any Punisher comic that involved Jigsaw, so I don't know how he's uh, pronounced as. But, uh, but yeah, that's really good artwork right there. Okay. Yeah, I, I just love this. They did a really good job on this. Okay, so let me open this up and not show the code. Punisher Warzone, blah, blah, blah. All right, so this is how it looks. And nothing on the back. And I love how the discs look. It looks a lot better than my regular one. Let me show you all my regular disc before I get into the, the Blu-ray and 4K ones. So this is how the regular disc looks. Like it, I still like it, it looks cool. But the 4K and Blu-ray though, that just looks, that is the 4K disc. That looks so good. And once I get that disc out, let me let me get this really quick. So here is the 4K disc out of the case so you can get a better look. Yeah, that, that looks good. And then the Blu-ray, let me get that. Oh, and I already got fingerprints on it. Freaking dang it. So here is the Blu-ray. Yeah, I got freaking fingerprints on it. Yeah, there it is right there. Man, this, uh, it's fine, I can clean that. And here is the inside of the steelbook. I, it's so cool. I, this is a really cool Punisher steelbook. One of the things that's kind of off when it comes to Punisher Warzone, like even in the main menu or just a fan art in general, uh, or even if it is fan art, I don't, I don't know at this point, but um, it's a little jarring because yeah, it's a different actor and the movie is supposed to be a reboot or a remake, like a sequel reboot off of the 2004 Thomas Jane Punisher film, and they still use the iconic 
2004 Punisher skull even shows it up here. That is the 2004 skull. When in the movie, he doesn't really have that. So it's like, I understand why they gave him that version of the skull because it's supposed to be a sequel, but not really. But besides that, I love the steelbook and definitely gets a 10 out of 10 for me. And if y'all enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe because it helps motivate me for more content to guys in the future. We do know if case bell to be notified of all of our upload new videos. Share this video with your friends. Comment down below what did y'all think about this Punisher Warzone steelbook. And have fun, stay safe, stay crazy, my fellow Punishers out there. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, everyone.